Konnichiwa Fanixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally gonna make DIY Japanese doll with cardboard at home on your request because I was getting a lot of requests to make this doll. So today I decided that I'll use a very easy tutorial and show you guys. So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, as we are going to make this doll with cardboard, so we'll need a cardboard cutout and I've made this on my own. You can also use any cutout or printout if you want. Okay, so now what I'll do is that I'll start applying some tissue paper clay over here onto the doll from the front side. First of all, And then I'll use my tools just to make those shapes and these edges which the doll will have. So first of all I'm doing the head part and then I'll go and continue to the body as well. I'll just smoothen out the edges using my fingers. Then I'll just put a tiny bit of clay and make the nose. And then the ears as well. Then I'll use my tools and give the highlights of the hairs. So once that is done, I'll start making the same thing on the body as well. So you just have to smoothen out the edges using your fingers and a tiny bit of water and that is completely it. Also guys, this is the very easy tutorial to make a doll. So don't forget to make it because you love this tutorial. And you can just start applying clay on top of the body. And once this part will get dried, you can go on and put it on the second part which is the back side. So guys, you can just keep it on any smooth surface and start applying the clay. Don't hold it in your hand because that will be a little tricky. Also guys make sure to use a thick cardboard for the base because you have to put clay on top of it. And if you use any thin cardboard that will not go well with your doll. So make sure you do that. Then you can also make the toes and the legs seam with tissue paper clay. So now as you can see this one side is completed. Now I'll keep it to get dried. Once that is dried, now let's start applying the same tissue paper clay on the side too which is the back side. Now guys, again I'll use my tools and just make the strands of the hair. So now once this doll is nice and dry, as you can see this is how it looks right now. Now what you have to do is that you have to take a sandpaper and scrub it off just to make the edges look smooth. And the complete body should look very shiny smooth. So that's why I'm doing this process. Once that is done, let's start painting the doll. So of course I'm using my acrylic paints, you can use fabric paints instead and start painting the skin. Then you can make the facial expressions. Be careful with this one because you have to give the natural Japanese doll effect. Once that is done, 
you can just continue making the eyes lips and whatever you like now i'll start painting the hairs so i'll go for this black color and i'll paint the hairs completely then over here i'll paint the shoes which are basically some bellies and i'll paint it with green color sea green color because that's what the color i'm using for her dress as well so as you can see the skin is now painted now i'll take this beautiful sea green colored fabric and you can see it is longer than the tall actually because the kimono which she'll wear is longer and it has a lot of fabric used in the dress so now what i'll do is that i'll cut these two parts from the sides so guys this is the part where you have to look carefully and follow each and every steps so that you can make your own kimono for doll it will be a little tricky because it is a doll not a real kimono but it's very easy if you follow each and every steps clearly so once that is done you can just use the fabric and cut it out okay so now as you can see we get these two parts of the fabric once that is done i'll show you how you can basically cut out on the fabric using a paper so now i'll just use this paper and show you how to cut it this is a very easy step guys you can just follow it and make your own kimono for the doll so this way i've done on the fabric now let's just take this part so I've done my magic and I did stick these two parts so now as you can see the kimono is halfway there now what you have to do is that take a fabric fold it into half and just take that and stick it over the neck now what you have to do is that just place the kimono properly and sew out the edges once that is how the kimono will look now let's make the towel wear it Okay now stick these parts for the sleeves and then just fold and wrap around the kimono to the doll. So you might have to do it a few times before getting the actual perfect look but don't worry it's completely fine. You can take your time and just make this beautiful kimono. So now as you can see I've taken a white wool and folded it around as a belt. Now what I'll do is that I'll take the front part and I'll just fold it down a little bit then use this beautiful goldenish yellow colored fabric and I'll just put this over here go all the way to the back and then stick it there. Once that is done this is how the kimono looks right now. Now what you have to do is that this is a very beautiful embroidered golden colored fabric i'll just take that as well on top of it then i'll take the same yellow colored fabric and i'll make a tiny bow out of it so once i make the bow i'll stick it on the back and then i'll take this cardboard over here this is basically a golden cut paper i'll just fold it out i've also used some cut out out of the golden just beautiful golden mesh fabric and then these will be the head jewelries which she's gonna wear so you can just use some beads some cut out out of fabric and some coilings out of golden cut paper and that's it to stick it on the head So now after sticking all of these, I've also made this umbrella and that tutorial I'll be posting on my channel shorts in this short section so you can go and check that out. So guys this is the final look of my Japanese doll and I loved it. If you guys also like this please make sure give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video you will be notified. Till next time. Bye-bye.